five, four, three, two, one. Go. <laughs> G'day and welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a job I'm not looking forward to, but it's got to be done. I've got my stripper disc and we want to get into it. So no faffing around. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to this at all. But let's go. So the outside's done. Like I said, I'm not going too crazy because I'm going to be using a rust inhibitor paint. Um, now before I go doing the insides, which is going to be a challenge anyway, um, I want to get my pressure washer out because there's a fair bit of grime and mud and caked on flaky stuff which I reckon I could probably remove most of that with some high pressure water. So we'll do that now. And um, We'll see what we're going to do after that. fairly impressed with what that pressure washer just did I don't even think I'm gonna sand the inside pour 15 that it'll be perfect that's what pour 15 is for no need to overdo it so what I'll do now I'll flip it over on its other side pressure wash it again because I've got to get the underneath and um, I've got a couple of little bits to weld and then we're ready to paint it See in there the kind of crud that I've been dealing with, but that'll all wash out. There you go, a little bit of elbow grease, and we're good. We're just going to wait for this thing to dry now so I can sand the top half with my whizzer, and um, yeah, we'll have to start looking at painting it. Alrighty, we're somewhat dry, so let's get to sanding again. I'm really happy with that. We are almost ready for paint. I just got a little bit of welding to do. Um, and I found my chassis number, which is awesome. So yeah, let's um, finish welding. some paint 
and I think next time you see it, I'll have a brush in my hand. Brush. It's another day. I've got my paint. It's sunny, but it's super windy. Perfect. So what we're going to do, I'm going to flip this chassis over quickly. We'll do the underneath. And then we're going to have to let it dry for a day or so. And then we'll come back again, flip it over, paint the rest of it. So let's get into it. So I'm using two different types of paint. I'm using Pour 15 for the inside of the chassis where it's the rustiest. That's what it's designed for. And for the outside where I've sanded majority of the rust off, I'm just using Rust Guard. Um, and that is in a satin. So the outside will be a satin. Put Pour 15 gloss on the insides and uh, it's gonna look pretty good, I reckon. And while we're using a brush, he just goes a lot further with the brush. That's what I find. Also with this slow drying enamel or epoxy, it um, dries really slow so you can brush it on and it still dries flat. So six to one half a dozen the other, I just find I get a better finish and a better quality coat. I also find that I use less paint when I use a brush. Also, hot tip, throw on some gloves because this stuff ain't coming off your hands for a good week at least, I'm telling you, trust me. Are done on both sides. Now it's time to tackle the outside. the underside done and the outsides I've got to flip it over and do the top but I'm not going to film that you just don't need to see that easy peasy when I flip it over I'll give it another coat and um, you can already start to see the satin sort of set on there and it's looking awesome I think I made the right choice there and uh, yeah it's coming together it's an awesome stage of a build when you get to this stage because it's kind of the assembly stage although I've got a lot of work to do you feel the downhill slide, and um, I'm really happy how that's turned out. It's turned out really good. Probably let it dry overnight, and um, I'll come back tomorrow and finish it off. And then the next video, we'll start putting the thing together. Can't wait. So anyway, that's it from me. Hope you enjoyed that. Stay tuned. Be good to your mates. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.